We're still using the same vehicle, but now we're going to talk about a situation in which it might not be safe to restore power to the car. Maybe there's damage to the power distribution center or even the battery. And the checks that we did with the meter identified an electrical short or some other problem making it unsafe to connect a booster pack to the vehicle. So we're not going to connect a booster pack. So the main difference now is that we will not have power at the CDR interface from the DLC, so we have to provide an external source of power. At this point, I've already identified the ACM fuse and appropriately connected the repowering device to the fuse socket and to ground. I've also connected the CDR interface module to the DLC with the DLC cable. However, in this case, you can see the green light on the CDR interface module is not illuminated. This is something I expected since I know the battery had been disconnected. This means I'm going to need to supply a source of power for our repowering rig and our CDR interface module. Because my car doesn't have power, I'm going to use a booster pack. The booster pack is going to provide 12 volts for both the CDR interface via the 12 volt plug and the ACM via the repowering device. My repowering device has a built-in 12 volt receptacle. If it did not, then I would need to use a Y adapter so that I could provide power to both devices. Either that or I'd have to use a booster pack that had two receptacles. I'm going to plug the 12 volt plug for the CDR interface into the booster pack and then I'm going to plug the power cord into the CDR interface which should give me the green light on the CDR interface. I'm powering it up directly. This is going to allow me to test the interface connection before attempting to image data. It's going to make sure I have the correct COM port selected, that my uh, USB to serial adapter is good, and most importantly that I've established communication between the CDR software and the interface module. Remember, normally the last step when using the CDR tool would be to apply power or turn on the ignition key, whatever the case may be. So in this case, I have the software ready to go with case comments, and I'm ready to collect data. Now I'm going to plug the 12 volt plug for the CDR interface into the repowering device. And then I'm going to plug the repowering device into the booster pack. And you can see that I have the green light on on the CDR interface. So I've created a situation in which the CDR interface and the airbag control module are both receiving power. So I can click the collect ACM data icon. Ultimately, using a repowering device and an external source of power, I will have successfully collected data bypassing the vehicle's electrical system and without the necessity of an ignition key.